we are going to look at using TweetDeck uh, for our WCPS MD Twitter chats that happen every second and fourth Tuesday of the month. And if you would like to get involved with the Twitter chat and use TweetDeck, there are a few specific things that you'll need to do to set yourself up. The first thing that, that I want you to notice is right now in my columns, I do not have the hashtag WCPSMDChat, which is what we use in order to thread the discussion so that I can track it. So the first thing I want to do is go to my search box, type in hashtag WCPSMDChat, hit enter, and you'll notice that it brings up any of the tweets that have been uh, tweeted with that hashtag. And what a hashtag really does is it pulls together all the comments that have been made and referencing that hashtag so it threads them together and you can see each one which is how the discussion actually works. So I will add my column and it will put it out at the end and I can move that if I want to move it back or forward it would just depend on where I would like it to be so I'm actually going to move it forward a couple spots so that when I go to a new tweet I can see that column in relation to what I am actually typing. So one thing you need to keep in mind when you want to be involved is you can either put the WCPS MD chat with the hashtag in front of it at the beginning, middle, or end as long as it is in there. Once it's in there and you hit tweet, it will then show up under that thread, in this case under that column. So I can say, looking forward to the next Twitter chat, hit tweet, and it will show up with that WCPSMD chat hashtag. And then anyone who has that hashtag or looks at that hashtag will see that as part of it. So whenever you're answering a question or you're being involved in a discussion, that's the way that it keeps it together. There are a few other things that you are able to do whenever you are working in TweetDeck on Twitter. And in the um, Twitter chats, there may be something that comes up and you think it's a really great thing, so you may want to retweet it. In order to do that, you'll see these two arrows right here in the middle, and if you click on them, you can retweet. Whenever you retweet something, it simply captures what has been said and what has been posted by someone, and it sends it out again under your account, but it gives them their credit, and it shows their entire tweet. The reason you may do that is just to share a great idea, share a resource, and it's an easy and efficient way to do it without you having to retype anything. You'll notice the other thing you could do there is quote a tweet. If you quote a tweet, it is actually going to capture a small photo of that tweet and allow you to type more in it. So if I go and I do quote tweet, notice I can then begin to type and say, this is a great idea. When I hit tweet, it would then put this box in there, but notice I can also remove that if I wanted to. So if you are looking at doing that, that's the difference between quoting and retweeting. You can also like a tweet, which is the heart. And liking a tweet says that you enjoyed the comment, you thought it was a great idea, and will also keep track of the likes you've had so you can go back to them later if you would like. You can also reply to a tweet, and what that will do is if I hit reply, it is going to allow me to directly reply to the person who tweeted it and make a comment or share something, say, hey, this is a great idea, I love seeing this. And notice that there's that at symbol. So if you are writing a tweet, and let's say that I'm involved in a discussion and I say WCPSMD chat, um, this is a great learning tool, but then I wanted to tag someone, I would put the at in, which is their handle, and then I could say at, um, and if it's a coworker I have or someone that I know, if I start to type their name in, notice it is going to populate people that I could then tag. If I do that, whenever I send my tweet, it is also going to notify them that they were tagged in a post. Now you may do that just to let them know that you found something wonderful, or you may be giving them credit and saying, uh, you know, I was in this classroom and this teacher was doing amazing things, or you may be that teacher that you want to share with another coworker, and so you can tag them and it will pull up on their feed so that they can see that you did that. So those are the kind of basics for replying. There are a few other options if you click the three dots. Um, since I posted this tweet, I can also delete this tweet if I need to. Sometimes we get in a hurry, we may tweet something and we realize we typed it wrong or we didn't put in the hashtag correctly. You can delete it, um, you can redo it, you can link to it. So you have different options there if you would like to do that. 
The last thing I want to show you is there are two shortcuts that will help you save space. If you type capital S lowercase s, that is the same as saying students. And if you type in capital T lowercase s, that is the same as saying teachers. And that will just save you some space whenever you're doing your tweets. Just remember, no matter what tweet you put up for our Twitter chats, make sure to use hashtag WCPSMDChat.